Today's life advice was presented by Modelo. Modelo, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. Life advice, lifeadvicerr at gmail.com. Check in with Kyle. Got a cool What's up, shirt man? on. Party right. shirt. Thanks. Just getting ready. Ocean City, Maryland, bachelor party next week, baby. Four days. <laughs> wait, wait. So not this weekend, next weekend, but you're already debuting some of the wardrobe for it? Well, yeah, I was just, you know, rooting around the closet, seeing what I got. That's not new, then? No, 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 no. It's a classic. I think we need to update the audience. Uh, there was a rumor I was going to make it to Willie Nelson's 90th birthday party. <laughs> How about being 90? And can and you imagine? Crazy. Yeah. Like, I think of an old relative at like 80 going, imagine giving that guy a guitar and a microphone in front of a few thousand people. I granted, yeah, what's been, he going to say? Yeah, right. <laughs> in between songs, wonder if he has thoughts on things. Like the Logan Roy concern at Wreck New York. Like, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so uh, I did not go. Denver oh, Phoenix. a shame. Yeah. And because I knew Denver Phoenix and I was like, I'm going to have to get up. Because the game started so early on Sunday and Bill and I taped early. But I don't know if Kyle, I'll, I'll ask, did we at least have a moment this weekend because there was an attempt at coordinating if things worked out? Oh, my blood was pumping, dude. I was in Frolic Room. The air conditioner was on, but I was getting warm. I was like, guys, this shit might happen. Um, it didn't, but uh, it definitely, we, we were planning stuff and it really felt like, you know, you were going to try. So, um, hey, that's, that's, we're moving the, it moved the needle for me. What so people, plan? well, this is what happened is Chris Long hits me up and goes, is Kyle your guy? And I was like, yeah, no, <laughs> Kyle. did you reach out to Chris independently yes. of us? Yeah. Cause you were like, Chris Long's driving the bus. I'm like, oh, I just got to get Chris Long to come here and then Ryan will come here. And then, uh, I, I just texted him. I was like, yo, pregame at frolic before the, whatever. And he was, and then I never hit him back and I didn't, uh, you know what? Cause I used to get, um, like notifications when a verified dude would message me. So I was like, you know, that's how I would talk with like Stanford, Steve and, and all like the other, like, like big cat, I would get a notification when he, you know, messaged me and stuff like that on Twitter. And then I just assumed that I would get one, but I forgot the whole badge thing went away. So I didn't get like a, you know, a notification or anything. So I just basically was like, come to the frolic room. Uh, and that was it. So uh, the right. next day you when I. You wanted, if I was going up, to pregame for Willie Nelson at Because you were like, I don't know, Chris Long's sort of doing this whole thing. That's well, what you was, said to me. He's like, Chris Long's yeah. driving the bus. And I was like, oh, okay, great. So all I got to do is get Chris Long to steer the bus over to Frolic Room before the bowl. And I just never, I just totally never answered. And then I left. So you but uh, it was, Long. Wow. Co- well, he wasn't going to, let's be honest. He was just like, what is that place? Is it close? And uh, I just never, never got back to him. But, is it uh, close? He didn't answer pretty never- quickly. Right. Is it close is never a great response because it just it is close, but, though. Is it that close to the Hollywood Bowl? Oh, dude, it's it's Hollywood and Vine and uh, Hollywood Bowl is Hollywood and Highland, basically. So, yeah, it's right there. OK, well, I knew that those guys were pretty fired up about the Willie Nelson thing. And then as I was trying to pull it off and then I was like, well, I'm not even going now. So I blew him off. It should make you feel better, Kyle. It does, and, actually. And then Kyle was like, wait, why aren't you going? And I was like, well, because of Denver Phoenix. And he was just. Kyle was like, he was like, what? (laughs) Denver Phoenix? Just just tape it or whatever. And I was like, yeah, but if I tape it, then I'm in a hurry and I'm trying to get caught up. And I knew we were going earlier on Sunday. Uh, I did see the guys late. We did a a little late tour of the local spots. Um, Oddly enough, one of the places we went to ended up being the LA Kings like postseason rap thing. And the bar was like, hey, if you're not on the team, like beat it. <laughs> and I was and were like, you like, actually who's in there? No, uh, no, no. I was <laughs> like, I want to, no, no. To be honest with you, I was like, I don't want to be the guy that like stays. Cause I think I only know two players and I don't even know them that well. So oh, okay. that's a culmination of a full season, having to go up against McJesus and dry So I was like, let's make sure we get out of here. Cause Chris was like, I don't want to be here. And I was like, I don't want to be here either. Like, I feel like this went from like a cool hang to now get out of here. And so, yeah, like, <laughs> what do you say? Actually, we got two Super Bowls over here, buddy. And this pod <laughs> is doing pretty well. So, you ever uh, seen anyway. Broken Arrow? <laughs> <laughs> 
So anyway, Kyle and I talked on Saturday when he was at the frolic room and I was like, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure it out. It didn't happen, but there was a moment where he was like, this call, just this call though means something. And I was like, okay, <laughs> great. So I, Progress. I, wanted, I wanted to let it the audience great. know because it wasn't my deal. It wasn't my show. It wasn't, it wasn't any of those things. So I was like, all right, I don't know what's going to happen. And then I didn't, ended up not even, I didn't go to either one of them. I didn't go to either show. So, okay. Uh, let's, let's get to the questions here. Sup, Kyle, Ryan, Saruti, 26 years old, 5'5", five, five, weight, none of your business. Gym stats aren't impressive, but I swam a mean individual medley. That's the IM back in the day. Still have my high school record. Oh, wow. NBD. Okay. My boyfriend and I are currently living in Chicago, but I'm sick of this weather and want to move somewhere warmer. Uh, this email. What? Okay. Is this a woman with the NBD weight thing? Did we? Okay, or, yeah. Uh, did just, none of your business weight. Just to let the audience in on everything here, the the email was from a male name, and so I was like, "Oh, okay." You know, I didn't know if it was gonna. And then it's not. It's it's the girlfriend using the guy's email address or whatever. Yeah, okay. Sure. I don't know. I mean, I, I buy think it. That the would... weight. The weight. None of your business is my first question. Right. It's like here. Yeah, because yeah, I, I mean, again. <laughs> I just, I didn't know which direction we were going here. And then you're like, you know, I don't know. It's because it's, it's like, oh, hey, did you hear Priscilla Pod? They, they read that email about the gay couple. That fucking pod's cool, man. Pod gets it. <laughs> like, nope, we do get it. We do get it. But this is, uh, this is a, this is a female emailing us about her boyfriend. Okay. A female. Right, no oh, there we go. Wow. Nice. <laughs> you like that? Very good, Kyle. That was good. That was good. Female's the one we're not supposed to say, right? Correct. It's just, it's just yeah. kind of harsh. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, is it? I wouldn't yeah, have said harsh, but, but yeah, I get what he's saying. I get. Yeah. I, they just told me not to, so I don't. Yeah, harsh seems harsh. Okay, my boyfriend. Let's call him Joe. <laughs> currently living in Chicago, but I'm sick of this weather. I want to move somewhere warmer. Okay, we met at a Big Ten school. Been dating for over five years. Uh Living together for almost two, things are pretty serious, but I just don't think we have a future in Chicago. We both moved to Chicago for work after graduation, but neither one of us is originally from here, and we both have jobs that we could do in any midsize or larger city in the country. My boyfriend said he's open to moving, but will only consider cities in the mountain or central time zone because <laughs> it's, quote, the ideal time zones for watching sports. Is this something guys really take into consideration or is he being crazy for not even considering all the great cities in the Eastern time zone? As someone who's lived in New England for a long time and now lives in Southern California, I feel Ryan is uniquely qualified to weigh in on the situation. Okay. Uh, wow. Yeah, guys definitely care about this. I mean, your guy really likes sports, right? Your guy really likes sports. Uh, the East is not a better time zone. The East is the worst of the time zones to watch it sports for most people. I prefer it. But I'm I'm bowing to consensus on here. When you have a Nuggets first round game tipping off at like 10, 10 Eastern time on a Sunday night, that's criminal. Yeah. Okay, honest, that's it's fucked my life. Shout up out to Rudy. Playoffs. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not great. Um, you know, it's up till and the problem too is like it's not even like you just go to bed when the game's over. Like you're, I'm kind of wired for like another hour or so. So you're up until one, two. Sometimes we're doing bill pods after. It's a it's a fucking disaster. If I'm being honest. Yeah, I don't. I think the East is easily the worst, even though I preferred it. I preferred it because I needed that gap from getting off the air until the game starting of like three hours. I don't like the West Coast and everybody else does. I don't like the NFL and college football starting at 9 a.m. on Saturdays yeah, and 10 a.m. I don't tough. like I don't like waking up, rushing to the gym and then being like, OK, it's 9 a.m. Time to get to it. I don't like it. Uh, I liked Sundays on the East Coast where I felt like I could do some stuff, get out of the house for a little while, maybe even go for a walk. Go to the bookstore, you know, check out some home furnishings, anything. And they'd be like, okay, now I'm back here at one, even though I would start to hate everything week 12 Sunday night when it was the Giants during their stretch of not being able to do anything on offense. But cool, the Giants are on again. So that rant, that rant is documented. It's it's out there uh, if you need to go back and look at that one. So I'm the rare person who doesn't like the West Coast thing because I think most people have families and stuff and I didn't mind staying up late and I don't like having the weather be amazing and then running inside at 345 to catch a four o'clock tip. Most people would say just don't watch as many Pistons games, you know, whatever this this 
the whole thing pays for all this stuff. So boat owners, I don't think love the early times. People will argue the uh, the mountain time zone is the move. So you're not. Yeah, because what's that? It's 11 o'clock Sundays? Or is that 12? No, it'd be 11. Awesome. The NFL. That's perfect. Right. right. And. You know, there are moments too, like in a lighter NBA night when it's all over and you're like, oh my God, it's like 9 15. I could, I could maybe even go do something. If you left the house, that'd be, that'd be a good thing. There've been some Fridays where it's like worked out where I go, Hey, I'll meet up with you guys later. Like I'll be done at 9 30, 9 45. And you're like, oh, this is great. Like I actually, so the Western mountain time zones are actually better than East is easily last. Even if I'm telling you, I prefer it. Then Central, I think mountain is maybe number one. And I think, you know, the Western time zone for people with real nine to fives, that's where it might be a little inconvenient. And that's why I go mountain time zone. Number one. Yeah. That's my, that's, that's my ranking for it. Even if my personal preference is different. Having games on, I feel like the West coast thing, like having games on at four when you're like, yeah, when you're still commuting or in the evening, that early evening, that, that to me blows. That's actually the worst time of day to have games start. So yeah, all the people that think the West Coast is the best, they're totally wrong. I'm not saying the East Coast is awesome because it's not, but that's that doesn't seem like it's fun to me at all. Because then you're like, you're either you miss the start of games, you miss the start of playoff games because you're at work or you have to like watch while you're eating dinner. I'm not a fan. So is the life advice, is this guy normal? Like, is he like, is this, should I be concerned that this is what how he's basing his life decisions? Is that what she's saying? Or is she like, what do I say to this insane person? You're suggesting we haven't done anything here except ramble about time zones and haven't answered any questions. <laughs> yeah. And you might be right. Well, that is fair. You know, I honestly forgot right what the question that. even was. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we did just rank the time zones if that's what you wanted. Yeah, honestly, I think we answered a question that guys do care about this because yeah. we spent a good 10 minutes going through them all. Uh, <laughs> Basically, your guy's awesome. So lock him up. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'd be in a relationship where I would say as much as I like sports, I don't know that I ever would have gotten to a point where I would have said, Hey, I'm into you, but this time zone thing, I don't think it's going to work out. I only love you in the central and mountain time zones. (laughs) Right. So I don't, I don't, I mean, maybe this means you just have to move to Bozeman or Boulder. (laughs) Salt Lake's available. Boy, isn't Boise blowing up? Boise, Boise yeah. is blowing up, but I don't. Idaho's got a weird, weird deal where it cuts through it. But I, Boise may not. Boise may be in the western. Do we look? Oh, it up? is it? Wow. Do we get? Well, I, honestly, to be fair to you, Idaho has a confusing time zone thing. Like they. No, this says I, it's in the mountain time zone. Boise. Yeah. Isn't it Boise? Okay. By the way, Boise. Yeah, what am I doing to Z? Yeah, it's it's about time zones. 10 a.m. right now. There, good for them. Okay. Uh, Yeah, it looks like there's a western part of Idaho that may... We don't need any (laughs) follow-ups. We can see the map. (laughs) Arizona is its own thing. Yeah, uh, I mean... Which nobody knows what goes on there. I kind of respect it. Yeah, nobody... They don't even know. Scholars are not into daylight savings. No, I mean, look at no. the time zone map. They have like a weird shade. Thing well, because they're not into no, they're not into daylight savings, right? They're just like, yeah, we don't do that. So that gets confusing as well. Jonah Ryan, he was onto something. So yes, men do consider it. We've spent far more time on it than I thought we would. Uh, but I think he's being a little. Is, wait, did he say? Just to double check here, did he say he preferred the Eastern time zone? No, no, he said he wanted. He's not to moving be, out of the mountain and central time zones. Yeah. Is he being crazy for not considering all the great cities in the Eastern time zone? No, he's not. When it comes to sports, he's not wrong about that. Again, I, I think most people would have it last. Um, unless you want to hang out. I mean, I like it. Just kidding. Just kidding. I guess it, it, if it matter, if you want to be on the East Coast, I guess you could just make that your sticking point and you guys could fight it out or just, you know, put the uh, put the time zone filter on Zillow or maybe they could maybe maybe you should ask them to make one. But um, I, I think you're you wanting to be on the East Coast is just as valid, you know. So, um, but uh, I don't know. Good luck. It's it's funny that he said that out loud. I think <laughs> I don't know. If he, is he funny at all, or is he super serious? <laughs> <laughs> um, that's right. Idaho has two time zones. 
split. The northern part observes Pacific time, southern Idaho. Um, and Boise is mountain. Yep. Good call, Srudy. One hour ahead of Sunnyvale. In case anybody else needed. Okay. I don't yeah. know if that might, I can't tell if that was one of the worst ones we've ever done or <laughs> average. All right. Uh, I think we did like 40 minutes on HOAs one time. I think that was that is probably true. the worst one. People like that, though. People did enjoy that. Not a yeah, I think I the first time when we had like 10 <laughs> minutes on it, I think when we I think like when we did the callback like months later and we did 45 minutes on it, and I think it was mostly Ryan. I think Ryan had like 35 of those minutes. So <laughs> High usage rate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was Harden in that. Although <laughs> hard, I, I wasn't as good as Harden. I wasn't as good as Harden was yeah. in game one. That's for sure. All right, uh, that that one I went so hard on that one. I think I may even called Saruti back, being like, "Hey, that was a lot. That was that was really too much." <laughs> All right, sister wants new boyfriend to come to graduation. Hey guys, six foot twenty six, former college soccer player. Shout out to all the former athletes checking in. Four fifty five deadlift, three seventy squat, two seventy bench. Huge fan of the pod. Could use your input. I'm graduating from law school at the end of the month. Not a flex it pertains to the story. I really wish up. people would stop apologizing for stuff they did that's awesome. You know, we're in a weird mode right now in society where it's like, oh, you did something awesome? Fucking shut up. <laughs> oh, I think it goes both ways. I think either sometimes people, you know, they want all the congratulations for stuff that's stupid and they Absolutely. go over the top. Or they don't yeah. want any credit for something that's actually awesome. There's like no middle ground. And that's yeah. the problem. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. You're right. It definitely goes the other way too. But like, I feel like there's a lot of people just out there busting their ass, doing good stuff, feeling good about their accomplishments. And it's like, I better not tell anyone this. <laughs> we, just, we just want your resume, man. It's no problem. 370 squat, law school. Sound great, dude. Killing it. Yeah. All right. Uh, my parents and my girlfriend of just over a year have planned out a huge graduation weekend for me. Lots of celebrations with family and friends. I never go to college graduation because I graduated in 2020. Thanks, COVID. Uh, so this is my first graduation since high school. My sister's been dating a new guy for about a week. <laughs> I don't know. They even, Well, no, this, this email's not that old. They went on two dates two months ago called things off for about a month. Then after Marathon Monday, oh, we could be talking about Beantown here, went on another date and he asked her to be his girlfriend. People do that? I don't know. I thought they did that in like the 1950s. <laughs> like, let's just get married. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know if that still happens. Yeah, but this is a girlfriend thing. I don't even know how guys do that anymore. Do they do it? Like, Srudy, at one point when you're now with your wife, you're like, okay, this is real. What was the, what was that? Especially with you, I could just see you being like, "Yeah, it's cool." I definitely would not have a comp. I would just, it would just be implied. So you know, and then she would, right. th she's gonna have to bring up the conversation, and she did, and that's how we did it. That's the what how are we? How what? Uh, how long in? A while, a good amount of time. <laughs> yeah, if I'm being honest, <laughs> like a year. <laughs> no, no, not a year, but you know, I don't know. Both of us were just kind of having fun at the time, and I think we were okay with it. And then it, you know. It's like what what time at, at what point does somebody kind of want to lock this down exclusively? And I I was I was already being exclusive. I wasn't like going around hooking up with other people, but I just didn't think it needed to be said. She wanted to have a conversation about it. We did, and then here we are. One kid later, love it. Yeah, I mean that's that's always like if everything is totally normal, as if it's boyfriend girlfriend and it's serious and you're hanging out all the time, and then it's like seven months later and you're having the conversation, and then one of them's like, oh yeah, I don't want to do that. Like, wait, <laughs> it's like this awful oh, moment no. where you're like, what have we actually been doing? Be like, no, nah, you just it's just chill. You're like what? Or I remember this dude pulled this magic trick on a girl that we were working with once where uh, he was like, I'm just not super into labels. I was like, oh, you fuck around all the time. That's mm. what you're saying. And I was like, oh, it's like you just. All right. Uh, OK, so back to the email. Couple dates a few months ago. He says, Hey, do you want to be my girlfriend? A week ago. Uh, they've been dating for less than a week. I don't want my graduation to coincide uh, with my family and friends meeting my sister's new boyfriend of less than a week for the first time. So he doesn't want all the worlds colliding with 
new boyfriend of the week. Uh, my, I don't mean like she has a new boyfriend every week. We understand what I'm saying here. I just want to be delicate about it. My sister has yet to ask me about this. She has talked to my girlfriend and my parents, but has not reached out to me at any point. She, she already knows. She already knows that you want to say no to it. So that's why she's not reaching out to you, which is kind of lame. But given that this is my graduation, uh, I think it's fair to expect her to ask me. I messaged our family group chat since my sister seems incapable of texting me and said, basically, hey, this has nothing to do with this guy. I don't know him. I don't have anything against him. I'd be open to meeting him, but I don't want to meet him for the first time at my graduation. And I don't want him there. My family has since said that they are, quote, sad, disappointed and upset with me. They've accused me of prejudging him and not being open to meeting him. I think my stance is a fair one. Maybe we don't bring new boyfriends of less than a week to a celebration of a person's biggest accomplishment up until this point of their life. But maybe that's just me. Good right. Uh, what do you guys think? Am I the asshole here? Thanks for reading. I'm on your side, dude. Uh, I just, I just am. New guy alert to be at something like you know what sucks about these things. Granted, pictures a little different than you know back in my day, but he's gonna be in pictures. Mm. Not all of them, but some of them. Like I remember, there was somebody I was hanging out with and. It wasn't real serious. And she's in one of my sister's graduation pictures at my house. And it was up forever. And I would always <laughs> be like, this is the only one we have of this. And maybe I'm putting too much emphasis on the picture, the, the changing of history, inaccurately recording history by having this dude in there with now everybody with camera phones and like, you're going to take a thousand pictures. So he's not going to be in every one of them. I don't love it. I am I'm against it. Uh, there was a time where it kind of happened with me uh, in my life where, you know, again, we've got the two Christmases at home and this new guy was at the Christmas Eve pre-fest, the Christmas morning exchange, and then the Christmas dinner. And I was like, hey, do we got to go three for three with this fucking guy? Like, I'm never home. He can't lay out. Can I get a, can I get a break from him? But here's what I think you need to understand about your sister. And this can be the case for this situation is sometimes you'll have somebody, you know, whether it's a sister, or it's a brother where this other person is this amazing buffer for them. Now, it could be that your sister, I don't know, I don't want to say anything bad, but like it could just be that, you know, this is her deal and whoever she'd meet, she's totally into it and like goes full throttle immediately. That could be it. But I do know. There are other like another reason I think people get married is that they can go to family events with somebody who's not a relative. So they're like, I have an exit strategy. I can focus on this person. It's actually kind of cool if you really like your wife or your husband and you have some stress about family gatherings. And it's like, okay, at least I have this person that's with me. And then when I leave, like I get time with this person that I care about. Uh, I'm not necessarily saying that's what's happening here, but there definitely is something to be sensitive to. And I don't understand any of the family dynamic, obviously specific to you, but there are people that are way more comfortable at these things, actually bringing an outsider. And it's some kind of like this comfort thing, this, this cozy blanket of emotions that helps them get through some of these things. Now, if everybody gets along and you're all cool, and it kind of sounds like you didn't give us any red flags or anything that everybody gets along. Like, I think it can be actually a little selfish. But also can be a little selfish to not think about why the other person is doing that because I know somebody in particular who does it every single time, does it every single time, and I'll ask him and be like, "Why are you doing that?" And he's like, "Well, I do this because it just helps me cope." And I was like, "Oh, okay, that makes sense." Boys, I think I wouldn't give a shit. I really don't care. Like. We're already like inviting some people to the wedding that we're like, wow, this could be a fucking disaster, huh? But it's like, ah, you know, you want them to be there or whatever. Um, and also to your to your like photo point, like, I mean, <laughs> I've I've used to, I've told you before, I used to like, you know, whoever I was seeing, like even very briefly or even just like, you know, like a one two time thing, I would bring over my house. So there's like the a photo one, album from like. There, there, there's, a, there's a photo album from like 2010 to 2015. There's like seven different women just like in the, fa at the family cookouts. I know, hey. dude. Like, I can't even, I can't even like show, like, my wife isn't going to be able to even like look through that photo album with me. It's like, well, who's that one? It's like, well, that was November. What's going on? This one's dated September. Who the fuck oh, is that? Man. It's like, why are they on the couch? What's, what's going on by the grill over there? Like, I don't know. So I don't, I don't really give a shit what about is going that stuff, is my point. Grill? 
<laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. Uh, I I wouldn't care about this, and and I I granted I've never graduated from law school, but um I don't know. Like I just think uh I, like the point of the gatherings, like yeah, they are to they are like to celebrate you, but it's really just to like get together. You know what I mean? Like it's like just so everyone has a good time, and you know if you're not going to not have a good time because this person is there, I just really wouldn't worry about it. Cause now you're, you got your parents who aren't, aren't really getting it. And like, it's a, it's a celebration. Yeah. Like it's for you, but it's really just like a gathering. So just remember that, man. I don't know. I would, I wouldn't make like the juggalos at all. I could see <laughs> what, well, you just kept saying the gathering. and I. <laughs> oh, is that an insane clown posse thing? <laughs> okay. I just mean like, it's, just it's not all about you it is about you but it's more about like the reason it's, like, all, it's all about, about him, us though. being together no i, yeah, just, I don't I mean, know i wouldn't i wouldn't take that approach but god you're just, easy like going to make waves you're easy like going waves. Sarudi and i are a little bit more uptight uh Sarudi's gonna not n- want nothing to do with this guy well I-, I feel like i'm easy i wouldn't say anything but i would be silently mad about it to the point where people knew i was mad about it uh and i think <laughs> that's your right like it's so it- I don't know. I, 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 this is one of those things where I just feel like your sister has a complete lack of awareness and that pisses me off. You know, when, when you should be aware enough to be like, hey, like this isn't the time. This isn't about me because he's right. Like it's going to be about everyone's going to be like, hey, who's this guy? You know, tell me about yourself. And not that you, you don't. Ha- it doesn't mean that you're selfish if you don't want this guy around. It just means that like hey, this thing is supposed to be about me. Like, can we just can I just have a normal time with my family without some like kind of like outsider who, again, I may like, but I don't care about right now and in this setting. You're. It, it sucks because some people are going to think you're a dick for this and some people aren't. And I, I completely think you're in the right for being like, can we just use some common sense here and not have the one week boyfriend come? I mean, the way you described it, like, I think you're right, Ryan. Like, there's a lot of people who and I'm probably one of them. Like, I love that my wife comes to different family events because she's way more like conversational than I am. She's kind of like the social butterfly. And I'm more of like the I don't know. I just kind of hang back and don't really talk a ton. So it's great. Like She'll real. just talk to people that I haven't talked to in a while. <laughs> Um, I remember like at my high school reunion, my wife talked to more people than I did, like just the way it is. And it's great. It's awesome. It feels great. But do you really need an emo? Like you're, you're essentially the way you describe it, it's like an emotional support, support boyfriend to hang out with your family at your, at your brother's, you know, uh, law school graduation. That thing, that's just the bridge too far for me. I don't like it. I think it's rude. And I think it lacks self-awareness. Yeah. The one week thing is, I think the point you're like, what? And by the way, why would he want to go? which is actually another element to this. I'm like, he wants to go. You've been dating a week. You hope you hooked up a couple times, like two months ago. And then he like, yeah, I'd love to go to your brother's graduation because I made you my girlfriend on Friday and let's go to law school. That's awesome. Super impressed. Can't wait to meet him. I mean, unless this guy is checking every single box, he's like one of the Winklevi while he's still at Harvard, you're like, yeah, I met this guy. And you're like, okay, you know, and then you're like, this is going to be amazing. And he's the best. And he's super locked in. I just, I don't like it. I would say no. The fact she hasn't asked because she knows you're going to say no. That's another part know. of it. Yeah. Yeah. So hey guys, I'd say pop a fun Hawaiian shirt out of your closet and just fucking relax, dude. <laughs> Enjoy your accomplishments. That's all I've got. You're probably right, Kyle, but I don't like it. I don't know. <laughs> That's life advice. Thanks to Kyle. Thanks to Steve. Ryan Rosillo podcast for your spotify.